When it comes to value for money, nothing beats the Chevrolet Bolt. The little American-made electric hatch delivers almost 260 miles of range per charge, all for under $30,000. In a world where charging stations are still few and far in between, that's huge. Those who need a bit more space can opt for the bigger Bolt EUV, an SUV i-fied version of the Bolt hatch with a taller ride height and more interior room. Just be ready to sacrifice a few miles of range if you go that route. EPA rated range up to 259 miles. The Nissan LEAF has been chugging along in showrooms since 2011, receiving update after update to keep it relevant in the quickly changing electric vehicle market. The EPA's 215-mile range estimate for the larger of the two available batteries is a far cry from competitors like the Chevy Bolt. But if you're a Nissan fan, that won't matter to you. Those who want to save as much money as possible can opt for the smaller battery, which delivers 149 miles of range. That's enough to cover most people's daily commutes. Not bad for under 30 grand. The all-electric Mini Cooper C combines the company's traditional charming looks and small size with a single e-motor spinning, the front wheels, delivering 181 horsepower and 199 foot-pound of torque from a relatively small 28.9 kWh battery. Range isn't great, at an EPA estimated 110 miles, but the sheer joy you'll get from behind the wheel should make up for the lack of distance per charge, so long as your commute is reasonably short. If that number isn't acceptable for you, Min has already teased the 2025 model, set to launch sometime next year. That car should have more range. EPA rated range, up to 110 miles. The Hyundai Ioniq 6 is a concept car come to life. Stunning lines and unique front and rear fascias combine to deliver one of the most compelling designs on sale today. Wrapped into a lovely all-electric platform, the Ioniq 6 can be specified with a choice of two battery packs and rear or all-wheel drive. The C long-range trim represents the best value, combining the single-motor rear-drive powertrain setup to the bigger battery, unlocking the most range possible from the slippery, aero-efficient body. EPA rated range up to 361 miles. The four-door Polestar 2 is a sensible alternative to the Tesla Model 3, offering sleek looks and an enthusiast-minded performance pack trim with 20 inches wheels, summer tires, Brembo brakes, adjustable Olin's dampers, and 469 horsepower on tap thanks to two electric motors. If range is more important to you than driving dynamics, stick to the base long-range RWD model, which comes with just one electric motor. With 295 horsepower and 361 foot-pound of torque available, you won't be wanting for more thrust in most situations. EPA rated range up to 320 miles. The BMW i4 shares many of its panels and interior with the gas-powered 4 Series Grand Coupe. Giving buyers more assurance, they'll be stepping into something familiar rather than a futuristic spaceship, as some competitors feel. There are three powertrains available, the most powerful of which, the M50, producing 536 horsepower and 586 foot-pound of torque. If you'd rather save money there's the base i4 eDrive 35. It uses just a single rear-mounted motor to deliver 281 horsepower, capable of up to 256 miles on a single charge, according to the EPA. EPA rated range up to 307 miles.
like the EQS, it's best to think of the Mercedes-Benz EQE as the all-electric version of the company's mid-range E-Class sedan. It brings similarly rounded off looks and tech features in a slightly smaller, less expensive package. The base EQE 350+, Plus, with its single rear-mounted e delivers 288 horsepower and 391 foot-pound of torque, which should be plenty for most buyers. Those that demand as much performance as possible can upgrade to the AMG model shown above, which can deliver 677 horsepower and 738 foot-pound of torque when its overboost function is active. EPA rated range up to 300 miles. The Air is California-based startup Lucid's first product, a luxury four-door with rocket ship pace aimed directly at the Tesla Model S. The most powerful version, shown above, is called the Sapphire. Its 1,234 horsepower and 1,430 foot-pound of torque can deliver mind-blowing performance numbers that include 0-6089 seconds, a quarter mile in 8.95 seconds and a top speed of 205 miles per hour. If you'd rather not spend the quarter million dollars to own an Air Sapphire dot we don't blame you. Luckily, the standard Air starts at under $80,000, and for that you get 480 horsepower and 410 miles of range. EPA rated range up to 516 miles. The normal gas-powered Genesis G80 is an excellent vehicle, and that hasn't changed in its switch to electric power here in the electrified G80. It gets two motors as standard, one up front and one in the rear, paired to an 87.2 kWh battery pack, for a total of 365 horsepower and 516 foot-pound of torque. In addition to being able to cruise in comfort and silence, the electric drivetrain is able to rocket the electrified G80 to 60 miles per hour in just 4.1 seconds. Despite a curb weight of 5,047 pounds, EPA rated range up to 282 miles. The Porsche Taken is the electric car of the moment for enthusiasts. It looks great and delivers a true Porsche driving experience with feedback-rich steering and real sports car capability. Like any other Porsche, there are plenty of different Taken trims to choose from, going from a rear-drive base model to a supercar-beating odd Turbo S version with 750 horsepower. The mid-range GTS is the sweet spot, offering some of the best range and a good amount of performance. If you need more space, Porsche even offers a wagon body style for most trims. EPA rated range up to 246 miles. The Air is California-based startup Lucid's first product, a luxury four-door with rocket ship pace aimed directly at the Tesla Model S. The most powerful version, shown above, is called the Sapphire. Its 1,234 horsepower and 1,430 foot-pound of torque can deliver mind-blowing performance numbers that include 0-6089 seconds, a quarter mile in 8.95 seconds and a top speed of 205 miles per hour. If you'd rather not spend the quarter million dollars to own an Air Sapphire dot we don't blame you. Luckily, the standard Air starts at under $80,000, and for that you get 480 horsepower and 410 miles of range. EPA rated range up to 516 miles.
The Tesla Model S has been a staple of the electric vehicle industry for over a decade. While the car is showing its age, constant updates have allowed it to stay competitive even as competitors arise from legacy automakers. The most powerful trim, the Plaid, delivers an astounding 1,020 horsepower thanks to three electric motors, allowing the family sedan to out-accelerate most new supercars in complete, utter silence. The Model S Plaid currently holds the lap record for production EVs at the Nürburgring. EPA rated range up to 405 miles. The BMW i7 is the company's electric flagship luxury sedan, built upon the same bones as the gas-powered 7 Series. If the odd looks don't scare you away, you'll be treated to a suite of the latest tech features available, including an optional 31.3 inches screen for the rear passengers that drops from the ceiling. There are three i7 trims to choose from for 2024. The Base E-Drive 50 is rear drive only, making a total of 449 horsepower. The X-Drive 60 gets a second motor for the front axle, upping power to 536 horses. Then there's the top-tier M7, delivering a hefty 650 horsepower. EPA rated range up to 318 miles. The Rolls-Royce Spectre is the most luxurious electric car you can buy right now. It comes with the company's Magic Carpet Ride, which uses 18 different sensors to adjust the adaptive suspension, four-wheel steering, and active anti-roll bars to deliver the utmost comfort to occupants. The Spectre's 577 horsepower and 664 foot-pound of torque have to move around a hefty 6,559 pounds. But thanks to instant thrust delivered by the dual e-motors, it can rocket to 60 miles per hour in a claimed 4.4 seconds. Range, however, is not very strong by modern standards, at 260 miles, as estimated by the EPA. EPA rated range up to 260 miles. <laughs> 